Hey you, can you say hi? Hi! Hi! Hey guys, welcome back. Um, my name's Jamie, if you're new to my channel. Today, you are gonna be joining Miss Gigi. Uh -huh. Ingrid. Yeah. Ingrid and I, um, in doing some of her homeschool. Ingrid, how old did you just turn? Four. Four, Ingrid just turned four last month. Um, so she is right on the cusp of being ready to start a preschool curriculum, an actual pre-K curriculum, and we plan on Oh, four. That's eight. Four and four is eight. You're just one of those. We plan on doing the Good and the Beautiful's pre-K curriculum with her starting in just a couple months, but for right now, we are just piecing together um, some resources from the Good and the Beautiful as well as a couple little things that I've picked up here and there for her curriculum. Yeah. Um, she is very busy. She is a four-year-old. She wants to um, be dancing and running and playing, and so um, um, my thought process behind homeschooling her is a lot more just about that intense one-on-one -on -one time that she gets with me and being able to use her hands and play um, more than just sitting down and um, having like a strict schedule of learning for her. Um, she's learning with her hands and with play a lot right now at this age. So I figured it'd be fun to kind of show, show you guys how simple um, it really can be. You don't have to go on Pinterest. You don't have to go to a million different blogs and download all of these things and purchase all of these things. We just finished up doing our musical multiplication and she absolutely loves that. Three times four. Three times four is twelve. Twelve books on a shelf. I will read them all. Three times four is twelve. Twelve books on a shelf. I will read them all. Three times four is four. Books on a shelf. I will read them all. If you guys are not familiar with musical multiplication, um, they are the multiplication facts put to music um, in the form of songs. Now we are going through these flip books from The Good and the Beautiful. This comes with the pre-K curriculum, but we are using them um, today. She is going to just be taking this letter pack that we have right here. Um, I think maybe I got this from the dollar spot at Target and they're just letters. And she is going to match them with the letters in the flip book. And like I said, I think we just got these letters from the dollar spot and they're magnetic too. So if you wanted to use them on the refrigerator or on um, like a big cookie sheet, they'll stick to that as well. Um, we are just using them for her to find to match the letters inside of the flip book today. Yes, and as you can tell, she's standing up. She's not sitting down. She's ready to rock. This is four-year-old learning is very hands-on. Do this one, Mama. Fun and exciting. It doesn't have to be stressful. It doesn't have to be like forced to sit down for long periods of time. Honestly, if anything, what matters is that she's getting this one on one time with me. This is the letter A. Can you find me the letter that matches this out of all of these letters? Yeah. Let's see if we can find it. <laughs> I erase you. Erase You're going to erase me. Always down for a good competition, huh? Can I 
Can you find it? There we go. A and A are the same. Yeah. A says ah, ah. Apple. Apple. Good job. All right. Now we're going to look for the letter F that looks like this. Can you help me find where that F is at? I it's think it's hiding on us. I think it's that turkey. What letter is that? F. F. F matches F. Yeah. Good job, sis. F. Baseball. All right, let's find the letter E. It looks like that. The letter E. E. Yeah, I find it. It's really cheeky. E. E. Good job. E. D. D, D, D. Let's find the letter D. You're a pro. <laughs> Good job, sis. I got it right. All right, what's the next one? B. Can you find B? Ah, uh, yes. Yes, I can find B. Let's find B. Where's B at? <gasps> <laughs> Your hair is wild. Does anybody else their little four-year-old's or three-year-old's hair? I don't want to give her a bob because I love it long so much, but it is so hard some days. <laughs> it gets syrup and all the things in it, doesn't it? Yeah. And she wants to brush her own hair because she's such a big girl. Does that G have a crown? Yeah. <laughs> Very cool. Is that a G? <laughs> nope, that's not a G. That's a Q. It kind of looks like a G. That was tricky. Where's a G at? You tricked me. I didn't trick you. Yes, you did. I sure didn't. All right, let's see if we can find a G. I'm not tricking you, help me. I'm not tricking you. I'm tricking. Let's find our G. Where's our G? I think I see a G. I spot one. It's orange. There you go. <laughs> this one is really tricky. Really tricky. Found an H. All right. The next one that we need to find is a J for Jude or John or Jamie or Jellyfish. Okay. See if we can find this J. Okay, so we found our letters. Let's go ahead and work on our doodles, okay? Um, so the Good and the Beautiful offer are doodles and pre-writing for littles. They offer this one, and then they also offer a second book that's blue. Um, I was so blown away by all of the different ways of teaching kids how to hold pencils and um, doodle, draw lines, connect dots, those kinds of things. It's different every single day and I have to watch her with this because she will go through the whole book in a course of two days if I'd let her, because she loves it. Um, I think there's a satisfaction with completing a page and then wanting to move on to the other. Um, especially since her older siblings are in, are doing like full curriculum, she likes having her own books that she knows she's working on versus me just printing stuff off of the internet and giving it to her. She likes having these. So let's go ahead and do, let's find a page that we haven't done. Do you wanna do these curly cues? All right, let's grab your pencil. Yes, and this is cool too because she's learning how to hold a pencil. It's not going to be perfect. Um, some of these have pictures in them that she can color too. You guys, this is real over here. All right, you want to hold on to your pencil? Yeah. Okay, let's hold on to our pencil and we're going to start on the very top and we're going to start with the big dot and we're going to follow the lines. It's okay. Yep, you're just going to go. I can't it's really tricky. Here, mommy's going to show you. So you're going to go around. You're going to go like that. 
Okay? Huh? So you're gonna follow the line. Okay. And then up and then around. Perfect. So this is teaching her coordination. She's holding a pencil and practicing doing similar movements over and over again. Perfect. Oh, can we go, can, can you look at mommy's finger? Can we go like this? Look at my finger. I'm gonna go up and then up and then around. I don't want You I don't want I can do what I want. I can do okay. what I want. All right, all right sis. Can you do the second line for me? Get your hair up out of your face so that you can actually okay, see. I'm going to see. do a channel. <laughs> and today, they're going to do the scribbly. The scribbly? Yeah. Very nice. Oh. Perfect. How many cotton balls are on here? Can we count them? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So they're giving the beautiful offer a whole four littles line on their website for their curriculum. Um, they have this insects and spiders mazes. They have a butterflies flip book. Um, there's an entire uh, section for mammals for littles. So if you were ever interested in trying out or if you have the mammals science curriculum, there's a littles portion that you can utilize as well with your younger kids. Um, so she likes to do this mazes book and she also likes the butterflies flip book. Someone give me this one. She gave you it. Okay, awesome. Big sisters are the best, aren't they? Yeah. All right, so let's go ahead and you can pick a maze. We have to pay attention to the arrows when we do this. Um, that will tell us where to start though, okay? So as you can see going through this, there's a ton. Uh, hold on, give me one second. I'm just showing them um, a ton of different mazes. And on the bottom of the mazes, it's gonna give you um, some facts and information about um, the picture itself. Yeah. This one is about wasps and it says, wasps make nests that look like they are made from very thin paper. Wasps sometimes look like bees. If the body is skinny, it's probably a wasp. So these are learning books too. They're learning um, information about different insects and spiders as well as problem solving and going through mazes. Cicadas, cicadas, those are in Tennessee where Nana and Papa live. And uh, I remember us going down to Tennessee, I think it was for our anniversary, or maybe it was the year we got married and those things were coming up from the ground. When does it say? Hold on. Cicadas make a very loud buzzing sound. Cicada babies live in tunnels underground for a long time, sometimes as long as 17 years, and they come up from the ground. Comment down below if you guys are in an area where you get these. I get so grossed out by them. <laughs> They're so gross, I'm not a fan.
Another one of our favorites is this Poetry Parties for Littles. The Good and the Beautiful just came out with this um, this past year. And it is full of poems, but also party ideas if you want to do a poetry tea time. So this one's Ladybugs and Fireflies. And it has um, different crafts you can do. And then some pretty poems. Bugs in my backyard. Ladybug. <laughs> Look at those little hands everywhere. Some more poems. A craft, a ladybug puppet you can make. So all of these are going to have poems, treats, and crafts that you can do. Um, that are going to be themed. So if you like poetry tea time, this is something you can do with your older children as well. Um, different poems they can memorize and learn. Super fun. Of course, it's got beautiful illustrations, just like The Good and the Beautiful always does. A firefly sun catcher. Oh, that's pretty, Gigi. Yeah. I just walked through a spider web. <gasps> the strands I did not see. It was meant to catch bugs, I'm sure. But instead, it caught me! <laughs> All right, so we are wrapping up our time with Gigi today. Um, sometimes we include things like her getting used to using um, little scissors. Um, Melissa and Doug have a, a scissor cutting book for littles for her age, for toddlers and preschoolers, and she likes that. She uses that sometimes as well as sensory bins. We like doing those too. But like I said before, learning at this age doesn't have to be anything um, Pinteresty or super glamorous. Kids this age just want to learn with their hands. One-on-one -on -one time is the most important thing that you can do, um, especially in these foundational years. Or you're trying to teach a love of learning to your children. Thanks so much for joining us today. Gigi, can yeah. you tell everybody? Thanks for joining us. Thanks for joining us. Say everything's linked down below. Everything's linked by row. Yes. Thank you guys again, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Mama. Can you say bye? Bye. Say toodles. Toodles. Toodles canoodles. Co toodles canoodle. Peace out, Girl Scout. Peace out, Girl Scout. <laughs> <laughs>